Hey y'all, it's Ariel No Princess, where we watch reality shows and really dramatic show shows. Uh, today we are watching the new episode of Bad Boys Texas, One Bad House is what it's called. As per, you know that Zeus likes to start off where we left off because they love to milk a fucking scene, bitch. Like, we probably gonna get three good scenes out this fucking show. I'm not even gonna hold you. And we only get the three good scenes because it was one scene from last week, okay? Like, so that's where the third the third one is coming in. Well, the first one's coming in. So, yeah, we about to start this episode. Yes, they did. Come on, come on, come on. Now Big Lou and Riley over here fighting. I'm like, y'all got some on y'all chest? Get it off y'all chest. Get it? So where we specifically left off is where Darrell, Relly, Darrell uh, is packing up Big Lou, um, baller, aka baller, no baller. Literally packing up Lou because Lou over here talking shit, like wild shit to Jonathan, literally trying to stir the pot, pretending as if that Darrell going around saying Jonathan and uh, Chef D jump Anthony. In that case, they really like, you know, he didn't say that they did. Because they, they didn't necessarily jump Anthony. It's like more Chef D kind of jumped Anthony. Like Chef D jumped Anthony, not Jonathan. So that's what Darrell was saying to Chef D. He was like, nah, you low-key jumped J Anthony because you came in right after while Jonathan was getting the best of him and it hit him right after. He's saying he didn't see it. I mean, honestly, it could be possible but at the same time why do you think the commotion broke out when that was the single thing that broke out the commotion so i don't believe chef d i believe he just wanted to get out of the whole like jumping thing because there was no way to like work around it you jump somebody period but yeah lou getting in the middle and he talking wild shit so darrell packed his ass up so after big lou got packed the fuck up right i feel like he kind of felt embarrassed he started talking about all this other shit now that had nothing to do with the reason why he was talking shit now he like oh you were saying that was your friend so they helped your friend that's not what the fuck he said and even if he did that's that wasn't even your argument you just mad because you got beat the fuck up in front of your little friend that's what it is you want to impress jonathan and in fact you got embarrassed in front of this nigga yeah bitch and also why are you going to try to act like that wasn't the like the whole argument with him right initially was the fact that oh rel saying you jumping people like oh yeah jonathan rel saying you jumping people They're like some randall ass nigga right and it's just you know damn well that's not what he said and now you're gonna switch it up to oh you want to say that they that they jumped your friend to help your friend like shut the fuck up bitch this shit happened so quickly there was no way that rel was able to even do nothing like how the fuck was rel gonna even get there literally jonathan hit him and two seconds later chef chef d hit him uh, rel already said that him and anthony do have problems so it's <sighs> I just, I don't really like this, uh, this big Lou motherfucker. Like, I really think he's, he really dumb and delusional. What the hell was you, big Lou uppercut? You saw that shit? Y'all, <laughs> y'all didn't stop this. Oh, bitch, I don't care. Big bitch, you know that season one, you know I'm not coming in. Y'all didn't, I fuck with both y'all, y'all didn't do it. I fuck with it too, but the thing is, I'm... If you feel like that, get it out the way. You, I still uppercut you with something nasty. And Jonathan got me fucking weak. Jonathan great TV. Because this nigga gonna be like, Rel gonna go to his like, yo, you see them two uppercuts? Because like, Rel be knowing what we gonna say. Like, Rel was like, yeah, I just gave this man like two uppercuts, two piece. All this shit. And Jonathan gonna laugh a little bit like, no, don't do that. <laughs> like, what do you, wait, where did this voice come from? <laughs> and second of all, stop it. What, you gonna run everybody over? Oh my God, Jonathan trying to run didn't you just beat the shit out of anthony like what the fuck is jonathan? like jonathan over here sweaty his shirt off and everything he like no don't do it after he just got into a fight no more no y'all looking like crisscross over here i couldn't make it out the first episode bitch did you just get out of jail i did so in this one long ass scene we got kurt franklin's son um aka crayon cravon carry on carry on what the fuck his name is carry on carry on but it's carry on pretty much this is some churchy shit anyways his name is kurt franklin's son and it ain't caddy it ain't no female little didn't know his niggas is really throwing them hoes Ma mo city mo city okay mo city the really really femme looking one right he really gonna go say this no female shit this no bitch the whole shit is gossipy so even if you look at it from like a gender role ass sexist standpoint this shit is female shit like what, what the fuck are you talking about like this is all gossip shit online and da -da -da. y'all just beating the fuck out of each other bitches be beating the fuck out of each other too it's just they don't let it they don't let it happen on baddies like they're just not they, they, they be stopping shit they be stopping fights a lot I, no, no. I 
I understand where you're coming from, but I didn't say my prayer. This is the only thing I was telling D. If Johnson already had him pressed up against the truck, he didn't have to go hit on it. But D said he didn't see it. So it's no beef, it's no blood. No. I'm, all right, cool. Yeah, we I'm good. Like, all right, no beef. It's no beef. We good. At the end of it, Rel is able to explain his side when Big Lou shut the fuck up. And I think Big Lou still had the out. Like, he was like, yeah, Relly's giving me an out. I'm going to take it. I already got my ass packed the fuck up multiple times. I'm screaming and acting like I want to fight. It's time to go to bed. <laughs> like, Because it was just like, it, it's just too much. Like, I hate when people, like, get their ass whipped and they still go. Like, I mean, it's, it, you got heart to, for doing it. But, like, why are you doing it? Where, where, where's your heart in? I like always, and I'm ready to see where the fuck I'm about to lay my head in. Y'all ready? You ready? Look at Jonathan, up? petty ass yeah, in this hat. Yeah. Right, this motherfucker. Like, this motherfucker. What's that dude name? Like, I'm a double cup. I'm ready to go. Like, Why the fuck Jonathan got this hat on? Like, he really brought this motherfucker hat back. Jonathan is just like the pettiest nigga alive. Like, he literally is wearing the hat that looked like the dude's hair that he beat the fuck up. It's just hilarious. See, I can't even remember real name. Like, I literally had to just ask and do a whole song and dance. I don't remember him. But Jonathan is getting angry and he's like carrying out pettiness that if you didn't see in season one, you wouldn't know about in season two because he's just like that type of nigga. Like, he like, nah, I'm gonna use my hands and my violence at any which way. <laughs> and petty did. I just, I love it. He makes the show. I'm cool with Jonathan and I'm cool with Anthony. Right is right and wrong is wrong. You know, they had it, but Chef D should have just waited his time. And that's how I genuinely felt. Yeah, I don't like that Chef D bitch. Oh, Lord. When I see Chef D, I'm going to just talk to him. So, you know, they're all talking in the van, really understanding that, you know, this is a reality show. And they're always going to be teams if against another team or, you know, villain and non-villain, all that shit, right? You know, especially with dudes. I don't know why they always, like, dudes are so quick to go to that. <laughs> it's so quick. They're in the van. And Banger's talking to Rel. You know, Banger's just like... <laughs> Banger not really, like, fucking with Chef D. And I understand that because, like, I'm not really fucking with Chef D. I don't like that. Like, he's claiming now he didn't see it. But the all his other confessions kind of basically show that he did see it. But he didn't care. Like, he don't care. like that. Because even after he did it, he was like, oh, anybody got something to say about it. And he was getting real active and screaming and shouting about it. I don't I don't fuck with that, that type of energy. You already a big ass nigga. I'm not saying because you're a big ass nigga. You should deal with more whatever. Or they take people's shit. You know, I don't like that. Like, you could have easily not followed up Jonathan already sneaking Anthony. <laughs> like, that's so much. This Houston house, I think this is going to break the ice with everybody. Kind of test the bad boy swag who's really a bad boy what is a bad boy who's really bad 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 and who can control the bad who can't control the bad when the bad comes over you <laughs> what do y'all expect being in this house Orlando Brown's fucking like takes on shit and his interviews are the funniest. Him and Relly just act like they dead ass viewers sometimes. <laughs> Look at how he looking at them. <laughs> Like, this house is... What? Okay, so they get into the house or whatever. This house is nice as fuck. But I just feel like they threw the curveball room with the fucking twin bed just to make someone feel like shit. Like, just because. Because look how big this fucking house is in the aerial view. It's huge. All right, I got Junior's room. I done got the youngster room in the house. Everybody else's room was grown, mature, ready for some bumping and grinding. My room, it just look like they want some water guns. The next house? Yeah. You know everybody else's There was no necessary need for them to do that. But you know, Zeus, like I said, they stay playing with, with their talent. That's why I said like in the last one, they love playing with their talent all fucking day. You know, but I like Raz B. I really do because he's like, nah, you know, y'all took you took one for the team, so we're gonna make sure you have a nice for next time. Now I don't know if he's really gonna follow through with that, but it's nice, it's a nice idea idea and thought you know because jonathan be is messy we will see like you but the thing is you don't know what's going on you don't know what happened I try, but this, no, re listen regardless of what happened jonathan was way more than enough for i can see jonathan fighting no, about just let me just let me say just let me say what i'm gonna say jonathan was way he, he's enough for him you understand what i'm saying so for you to go in there and do that that was wrong and shit you don't know you don't know what I've been through with Anthony. You don't know what y'all have been through with Anthony. So why are you jumping in Anthony's beef when you don't know what's going on? He has bullied me online for almost what? For a year? He How do you know he bullied so now Chef D over here like Anthony bullied me online for a year. And then <laughs> And then Big Mega go, how 
he bullied your big ass. Like, no, seriously. Because I'm not saying you can't be bullied, right? But then why didn't you say anything the whole time? You were just going to let it pass until Jonathan hit him first? Like, it's just ridiculous. Banger, I respect him because he really don't give a fuck. Like, he really told Chef D big ass, like, I don't care. <laughs> I don't like the shit that you're doing. And Chef D got all the excuses in the world because he don't want to look like a pussy ass nigga now that he know niggas is not cool with jumping. Because sometimes it's 50-50 if somebody cool with jumping, right? Even though I always used to think, like, people knew better not to jump. Like, it was like a code. That's not how people operate. Most people don't operate like that. So it's like 55th and he just like he he fully tossed the coin and lost because he none of these niggas is fucking with that jumping shit Not a singular one even Jonathan Jonathan even say, is not even saying shit now that real said what the fuck he said It's already a consensus oh, wow. Where are you at? I'm actually not about to come to the house now because I just feel like it's just a lot of things that need to be talked about Like on some like for real human adult shit It, it was a lot like you know I was too much it's Yeah I was like, too much I'm not about to go out like no bitch, so I'll take you when I'm outside. All right. Anthony finally comes through, and we got 10 minutes left on this motherfucking show. We already know it's about to be hell, but I don't know exactly when the hell's gonna start. <laughs> So I respect Anthony. He came back. He's, you know, he's standing his fucking ground, even though I feel like Jonathan really be throwing them fucking hands. And then this Chef D nigga got his fucking follow for whatever reason, like a little bitch, which I don't care what the fuck anybody got to say about it. That's some punk ass bitch shit. You always trying to have some nigga follow is weird. Stop. Please stop. Well, let's talk about what you thought yesterday. Actually, about when you got know, a Anthony and I went behind your follow too. So what y'all got to say? What, what you got to say? Well, I was telling him that since Anthony was already getting beat up by you like you enough for him you understand what i'm saying like for him to go in and jump on him i feel like as a man that what he did was wrong bitch he brought that hoe is fake you don't know like you i told you bro you don't know that hoe know. is sneaky bitch he probably got you in some shit you don't know about yo it's crazy it's have, the you been, thing he got. have you ever been in some shit that you don't know about Wait, that's how sneaky the shit is i want to say something about anthony I don't know what the fuck Jonathan's talking about. Anthony was done speaking to Rel and Carry On just about, you know, coming back into the house and the fact that he's never, you know, he never really actually left the motherfucker to be quite real with you. And he wasn't going to leave the motherfucker. He was just clarifying the fact that, you know, at the end of the day, he's going to be there. It's, it's it, you know, it's the Texas that's where he from it was supposed to be bad boy houston but now it's bad boy texas so he's not leaving really trying to be like the peacemaker right now right and he trying to get jonathan and anthony to talk but i'm not even gonna hold you jonathan don't deserve no fucking apology for nothing from the start to the to the end first of all you beat the fuck up out of that nigga like that nigga got beat up by you then you beat his brother i believe and then you beat, and then like you ran his friend off the show so we don't even get to see, we don't get to see no remnants of these niggas at all. Like, we we not seeing them, right? But it, but for some reason, Jonathan's still pressed about it. I mean, John, they know that. Jonathan's my friend. And Anthony's somebody that I'm cool with. So it's like, I'm kind of torn in between, but yet I'm still not going to pick a side. Are you going to stay with us, Anthony? Yeah, I'm here to stay. I'm not, I'm, I mean, this is Houston. This is Bad Boy Season 2 Texas. I'm here. I ain't no hoe. Like, I'm going to come back and stand my ground. I was friends with everybody. So what's the situation? Basically, That's a great question because okay, I so the, the, the thing the thing about it is Rio obviously from last season and Jonathan have some type of tension, right? Rio hit me up for his birthday and he wanted to come to Houston. And I was like, okay, well I don't have a problem with you. I don't fuck with him like that, but I'm also not gonna treat you like an op. Right. You know, so come spend money, have fun, I'm gonna make sure you have a good time. Jonathan felt like I had booked him, I gave him money and this, this, and that. And I'm just like, first of all, I didn't, but you're also not about to tell me how I'm gonna run my business and who I can and can I have in my establishment. That's why I feel like the tension between us is like dumb. It's like really nonsense. Right. And then- Bro just kind of like set the stage for Jonathan and Anthony to talk. And, you know, Anthony kind of starts with, like, you know, the shit that you did yesterday was very immature. You're more mature than this. Like, our friendship is not worth that. And da, da, da. I'm not going to hold you. I could That could not be me if I was Anthony. Like, I would that ass be like, we're never going to talk ever again. Like, the fact that you put your hands on me because of this silly shit is ridiculous. Like, I would have been pissed. But, you know, he's over here trying to be, you know, friends still. So I, I'm, I'm like, okay, cool, cool. But then Jonathan come out and don't even be like, you know what, maybe I shouldn't have hit you. Maybe I shouldn't have put my hands on you. He's over here like, well, you know what, you shouldn't have risked our friendship over $300, like as if it's not his job to like sell tables at a club. It's not that deep. It's really not that deep. He should be able to sell his tables at the fucking club who, to whoever, as long as they didn't really harm you or do nothing to you, which Jonathan, you know that man didn't. You beat the hell out of him. See, see, see. 
Chef D is obsessed with you. I don't even know why. Everybody come downstairs. It's time for the house meeting. And I'm a, I'm real happy to see Anthony because I like Anthony. And so I wanted to just stand next to him just to let him know that somebody cared, you know. Grass, do me a favor. Can you let John take it right there? Cool, no problem. So I cover the room, you know what I'm saying, for the champagne meeting, you know what I'm saying, boom, boom. And lo and behold, these sneaky motherfuckers got in there. Well, I've been waiting. So, bitch, speak. Let me hear you. What you got to say? Anthony really trying to have this heart to heart with Jonathan. I don't think it's fruitful because I think Jonathan just feels like he's very righteous in it. Like you're allowed to be upset, but what you did yesterday was too much. Like for a friend, that's too much. You know what I'm saying? But Anthony's really trying to look past that because apparently him and Rel and all of them, they just like, they was living together. It was a friend group. They was chilling, right? But, you know, after Anthony put his attention to Jonathan, it's not going nowhere. He moved his attention to, to Chef D and like, nah, you a big pussy for doing getting Jonathan follow, ah, uh, ah, uh, whatever. And then, you know, this same nigga that's over here, like, I don't give a fuck about Anthony. Like, he got all the explanations in the world. And they going back and forth talking about, uh, Anthony talking about they live together, but he not really his friend for real. And you could tell, it just feel like that kind of bothered him. Like, it really kind of bothered Chef D a little bit. So they going back and forth. I honestly thought Chef D was more we're gonna be on some like i don't i don't really give a fuck what you gotta say i hit you because you was talking shit what's up but he over here having all these other side conversations about shit that we don't even know what happened this is messy in front of you we can fix it right now you we get the last scene with Anthony and Chef D going back and forth from going at it. And I just feel like Chef D really, really, really was like, nah, I'm definitely fighting Anthony because his hand is broken. Like, I just definitely feel that way. Anthony was like, yeah, I'll fight you with my hand better. Chef D could have easily been like, all right, no problem. Just let me know. Honestly, of course, he know he not gonna let him know because he was sneaking niggas. So now he like, yeah, I'm gonna fight him with a broken hand. Like, you're such a bitch. Like, I hate this. I really don't like him. I'm not... I'm not a Chef D fan. I'm really not. They get into a fight. You know, I, I didn't see no blows, but we're seeing, you know, I know that you saw the fucking clips at Fred. Anthony gets hit in the face with the ring, apparently. I didn't see the swing uh, get swung. I didn't see Chef D actually land anything, nor did I see Anthony land anything. I just saw them kind of come together and the, uh, the security is on it this season. Like, usually they just let them fucking fight. But this season, they got security up the yin. Maybe it's because Anthony's hand was broken. I don't know. I'm not sure. But they didn't really let them fight, but apparently he still got Anthony and with the ring. So I think that is fucking messy. Once again, you're hitting people with rings. You're bigger than every you're bigger than everybody fucking there. Then you're hitting people with rings that have broken hands that you snuck the day before, that you did a follow-up sneak. <sighs> Not a fan of Chef D's. But what do y'all think? Let me know um, in the comments. Do you think that Jonathan is dragging it? Or are you on Jonathan's side with this one? Like, oh, if that was your friend, you like, nah, bitch. You better not let them get that $300 table, ho. Are you on that? Because I'm not really on that. I really feel like it doesn't really matter. Like, if Anthony wanted to give out the table for $300, like, it's his business. Like, why he got to say no? He did nothing to Jonathan. Jonathan really beat that boy up. So let's move on from that, you know? But at the end of the day, what do y'all think? With Chef D, do you think that he pussy or not? Because I think he put what do you think like do you think it's okay to sneak people even if you know you'll have ample opportunity to fight them because you're gonna stay in the same home and the same vehicle for my for like a month let me know also what y'all thinking about banger because i like banger i think banger got heart he don't let nobody tell him nothing and he and he stand up for what he need to stand up for um and yeah and what do you think about the other cast members i think that like uh rasby and um fucking uh orlando brown is just like you know the funny like the funny chill niggas like they just chill and everybody else is just you know they they cool they cool but let me know what you think let me know who's your favorite like share subscribe if you fucking win it and i'll see you next time hey bye